Ooh, yeah. That's a substantial drop. And I don't know if I can drive it. vlogs back with another vlog baby it's been a minute it's been a long longer than a minute um marcus got a new car mercedes 2020 e-class cabriolet already done some mods the front grille license plates come to the back of the car check out the rear diffuser different exhaust system it's got the quad amg exhaust now even got the AMG up on the exhaust. So today, what are we gonna do? We're gonna put in some filters, cabin filter, but what I'm really gonna tackle, let's check this one out. We're gonna lower the car, because she's riding a little bit high. So as it stands, check that out. We're at 700. Seven hundred for the back, and we are seven ten, seven fifteen for the back. Let's see how low we can get it. And these are the lowering links that I'm going to use to lower it. Mercedes E Class Evolution lowering kit. So you change out the other kits, the other lowering pieces, the links with these bad boys. Let's see if I can make a look good. So, we got the wheel off now. And that linkage arm, we're going to swap with one of them. So that linkage arm, this linkage, so we're gonna put that one in place of that one, and that should lower it down. Bit of mucking around, gotta work it out, but I'm sure I'm gonna do it. So these are the lowering links, and apparently, Every five mils you go, five mils you go is every five, the vehicle will lower by approximately 28 mils for every five millimeters longer. You make the provided adjustable linkages. Okay, moving on to the back. I've got to say, the back is all the way down here. And these ones, are super tiny. So the front ones you needed to make them longer, but the back ones you need to make them shorter to get the car to go down. Oh, okay. Another wheel off. Wipe this car's out there. Let's get it. So guys, the rear is way harder than the front. If you can come down here and if you can get any camera down here. The hardest thing is because it's the access to this and like to get your tools in there to try to tighten this, to loosen it. Like I've got the new one on, but it is super hard. But once you get it, it's pretty good. And then, I don't know if you can see it, but that's the new bad boy there, installed. And that's the old one that we took out. And all I did was measure that, was measure that and I did half a centimetre shorter, and it says half a centimetre shorter should be one inch, which should be two centimetres. So let's see how we go. Last one. Onto the last side. That's it. And then, Make sure you torque wrench the wheels. My car is 140 Newton torque. I 
and it doesn't hurt to go around one more time and just check those bad boys. And for all those people talking at home, I didn't do that. I bought the car with the smashed up rims. Let's get the last side. All done. All the parts are in. Oh, moment of truth. So now, one last measure. It is 7,700. So the thing is now is that to start the car, let it run and it should settle itself. It's actually going down straight away. Just a little bit, a little bit scary to be honest. Hopefully it's sweet. Straight away from here, I already know that it looks lower. I think I could drop the back a little bit more, to be honest. The front looks sweet. I think the back needs to just go down just a smidge. There's two fingers there, man, on the back. But this is still in the comfort setting. Remember it was at 70 centimeters before. Seventy centimeters. So I probably dropped the front a bit too much because I haven't even got it in sports setting right now. That's at six, seven, five. I don't know why this one looks a little bit higher. This is six, oops, six, seven, five. Like it's exactly, exactly the same. Can't help it. I gotta check this. I gotta check it out in sports mode. Ooh, yeah. That's a substantial drop. And I don't know if I can drive it, but that looks sick. Where are we going? Okay. We've got a five centimeter drop here. Four centimeters. Don't know how that's gonna drive. But let me tell you, it looks sick. Yeah, two centimeters at the back. I really hope it drives good. Final product. Here it is. I think it looks pretty good. You can see there's like no finger gap there. Look at the back. The back's come out wicked. This side profile look. Looks really good.
getting that look. And the final, the final measurement. So we do the same wheel. And remember it was 700 last time and we are down to, read it, 660. It's a four centimeter drop. Four centimeters on the link wheels. Link, airmatic links. Shout out to Mod Concepts. The other airmatic links that are on this car that sorry that are on YouTube which are shit house. The installs, no offense to those guys. Um, the installations to the old school Mercedes. This is a W213 A238 Mercedes 2020 E Class. There she has it. I'll give you a quick run around. Updated the grill. Updated the grill. I'll put the link right now, I'll show you the before photos now. I put the new E53 flares right there. I wrapped the front, the bottom, the that all used to be chrome. Like I said before, the new diffuser. So for those of those playing at home, the E53 diffuser has actually the round tailpipes. I think they look a little bit shit, for lack of better words. So this is the S63 diffuser, that sort of kit. I think it gives a more tougher stance. I'm still, still throwing about if we get 21 inch wheels to finish that off. But she is looking pretty now. All done. There it is, you saw it up close, the AMG steering wheel. You can't see it, but there's a big AMG puddle light as well. That's it. We'll finish it up right there. Thanks for watching. New model, Mercedes, Airmatic, Air Links, that's how you do it. I lowered it four centimeters at the front, three and a half at the back. I actually went too low the first time around, to be honest with you, and share that story. I went six centimeters at the front. It looked sick. I'll show you super quick. It looked wicked, but the fender was halfway on the tire. It looked wicked, but the drive was shit out. So I ripped that thread off, um, jacked it up. So all in all, the wheels came off twice, but the front, the front driver's wheel, five times. Because I'm anal. It got down to the millimeter, but I wanted it on the millimeter. I wanted it to be perfect. Um, so that's what I took. We'll be back with more videos. There's some extra special stuff. I know we haven't been vlogging for a while, but we'll try to. There's some push bikes. Maybe I should do a bike vlog. With all the kids riding. Anyways, I'm dirty as hell. I've been working on a car. That's not tan, that's just dirt. Anyways, peace.